Hi everyone! Today I'll be reading you part of a poem. It's a very long poem, so I've just chosen a short excerpt. The story so far is that a group of horsemen are trying to recapture a valuable horse. Man really wants his horse back. But the horse has gone and joined a group of wild horses in Mount Kosciuszko. Mount Kosciuszko is part of the Snowy Mountains. And the man who is riding the horse, trying to get the other horse back, he's called the man from Snowy River. Snowy River is just what it sounds like. It is a river that comes from the Snowy Mountain. It's a real place that you can look up on Google. So this horse has escaped. The man from Snowy River is riding as hard as he can to go and get him back. All the other horsemen are not good enough. The man from Snowy River is becoming a bit of a legend. You ready? He sent the Flintstones flying, but the pony kept his feet. He cleared the fallen timbers in his stride. And the man from Snowy River never shifted in his seat. It was grand to see that mountain horseman ride. Through the stringy barks and saplings on the rough and broken ground, down the hillside at a racing pace he went. And he never drew the bridle till he landed safe and sound at the bottom of that terrible descent. He was right among the horses as they climbed the farther hill, and the watchers on the mountain standing mute saw him ply the stock whip fiercely. He was right among them still as he raced across the clearing in pursuit. Then they lost him for a moment where two mountain gullies met in the ranges, but a final glimpse reveals. On a dim and distant hillside, the wild horses racing yet with the man from Snowy River at their heels. And he ran them single-handed till their sides were white with foam. He followed like a bloodhound on their track till they halted, cowed and beaten. Then he turned their heads from home and alone and unassisted brought them back. And down by Kosciuszko, where the pine-clad ridges raise, their torn and ruggled battlements on high, where the air is clear as crystal and the white stars faintly blaze at midnight in the cold and frosty sky. And where around the overflow the reed beds sweep and sway to the breezes and the rolling plains are wide. The man from Snowy River is a household word today and the stockmen tell the story of his ride. So that's the end of The Man from Snowy River. What it says is he was flying through the mountain. He was going so fast on his pony. He was amazing and he got so far away that the watchers could barely see what was going on anymore. He ran down those horses until they were exhausted and he was able to round them up and bring them back to the farm. I hope you enjoyed that poem. I wonder if you can go through and look and find all the rhyming words. Rhyming words is what makes a poem sound so good. When I'm reading it, there's a rhythm, almost like a horse having a gallop. See if you can find the rhyming words, ready? He sent the Flintstones flying, but the pony kept his feet. He cleared the fallen timbers in his stride. And the man from Snowy River never shifted in his seat. It was grand to see the mountain horseman ride. Can you hear the rhyming words? Feet and seat, stride and ride. They might not look the same. Feet and seat are not spelt the same, but they have the same sound. I wonder if you can find all of the rhyming words in the poem.